What's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. My name's Jerry and this is vlog 10,550,000 of this Farago build. I'm just kidding. It's actually vlog probably 30 or 31 now, which is gonna be insane because I'm actually documenting the whole thing and not just doing, you know, a sped up version of each part of the process, but uh, it's getting pretty lengthy, but I keep doing things to this bike. So uh, without further ado, on the last video, I shaped and formed the mold, if you will, for the new fiberglass uh, seat I'm gonna be making for the new subframe I got. Uh, so today I'm gonna go ahead and try to cover this in fiberglass and let's keep in mind that I've never actually done this. Uh, I think I have enough resin and mesh from the kit I bought to do two molds. So one I wanna do off the bike and then the next one, depending on how it fits, if it doesn't fit properly because I haven't quite figured out if molding the the foam here is going to allow me to cover the seat rails on the subframe um, if that makes any sense but uh, if it doesn't work out then what I'll do is I'll put it on the bike and then I'll remold it uh, in resin on the bike itself so I can cover the seat frames um, just to see which fits or which method is better so let's get started here but in order to save this once I put the resin on it I need to cover it in some tape from the videos I've seen. So what I'll do is I'll cover this all in tape and then you have to put some car wax or like uh, beeswax to basically act as a release agent. So I'll go ahead and tape this up. covered the entire scene in that blue tape. Um, I actually don't have that much of this. I thought there was way more of this. It's fairly thick and it was all folded. So I have another piece exactly the same size as this. I just cut it in half. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lay it out and I'm going to uh, shape this mat or this uh, fiberglass around the shape of the seat. Um, and then I can apply resin so I'm ready to go and it doesn't harden while I'm working. Um, I might have to go buy more. I don't really know how many layers of this stuff I have to use. I'm guessing two or three at most. Um, so I will have to definitely buy more of this stuff. I've cut off some pieces and I've cut where I think the folds are gonna be to make sure that this is smooth when I lay it on with the resin. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and start waxing this. I'm just using a Cardugo wax um, and that should act as the release agent when the resin hits, hopefully. Um, so I'm just using this stuff. This is like a Carnuba wax or Carnuba cleaner wax, but I think it'll do the same. First I'll coat all this in resin. This stuff sucks. Like, why is it coming apart like this? It's so frustrating. It's 
So I'm gonna say that this is a failed attempt and a waste of 50 bucks on this kit. I think I would have been better off using like a pillowcase. This stuff just comes apart, it's insane. What is going on here? Look at this. Oh. This is a little frustrating. I feel like this seat mold is garbage now and I'm not gonna be able to release this stuff I didn't even cover this side yet because it ran out and it dried on me. Edges everywhere. I don't really know how I'm going to fix this now. There's edges, there's bubbles. And a lot of it didn't even grab. Probably better off to stop playing with it at this point. It's not sticking together anymore. It's just sticking to my fingers. So I'm just gonna pause it there. I'll have to come back and see what happens. It's the next day and this is dry overnight and I've been working on this trying to remove it. Um, I think I got most of it removed now. It came off fairly easy and I did have to use the wax. It looks like I'm able to reuse this, but it looks like the resin also melted some of the foam where it ate through the tape. I can feel it's definitely not, you can see it here. Um, definitely ate through some of the foam, but I can definitely reuse this, which is good. This is now the mold as it stands. This is where I ran out of resin or time. The backside is resin, has a little bit of the resin because uh, I coated the mold, but uh, this side doesn't have any. There's a lot of imperfections here, like these bubbles. Um, I ended up cutting this side out because that was a mistake to put it on anyways, since that's gonna be covered by the subframe. So I don't want that piece there anyways. Um, I got this big clump of resin here as well. Um, overall, it's not too bad and I think I can actually work with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just test fit it on the bike real quick to see if it's accurate and it'll work. If it is, then I have some new material that I found. I found some new material that I'm, I'm gonna try to lay with. It's like a woven fabric, which um, hopefully won't come apart like the fiberglass mesh I was using. And I found a video on Ichiban Moto. He was using an old t-shirt uh, to make a seat. So I feel like this will probably do the same. Um, and my idea is to use this as my second coat. And then I'm gonna cut away all the imperfections like the bubbles and stuff like that. Um, and then that way I can just kind of lay it on fresh, if you will. Um, so I'll do the second coat and then eventually I'll add on to it again where I can put something hard here. Uh, for the seat pan, like where I can affix it to the subframe itself, like I'll probably put a piece of wood or something or a metal plate um, and drill through it with some screws or bolts and nuts. Um, but I think it actually didn't turn out that bad. It's not terrible. And I think I can probably save this and work with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it right now. So it actually, it fit pretty well and it's covering exactly where I wanted it to cover. So there's some wires here, so it's not sitting right. And I think I need to trim it a little bit, but overall, like, I think the fit's pretty good. Um, I can definitely work with this. So considering this is the first time I've done this, this is not bad. Um, I'm gonna try to save it or like just improve on it and see how it goes. But um, I don't think this is terrible. It's covering the seat, the subframe exactly how I wanted. So this might actually work out. 
So I finished the seat and I've taken it off. It is hard as a rock. So I'm a lot more confident in the ability to hold my weight and not cracking. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand the, um, sand it basically and get, all, get rid of all the rough spots. And then I'll go ahead and do a Bondo coat. I'm gonna go ahead and Bondo all this right now uh, and smooth this out. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and trim off the edges here that are too long. Um, and I need to cut, make a little cutout as well for the wires to fit through so this can sit flush on the frame. I'm using regular Bondo. put the first coat of Bondo on the entire seat. Um, it's pretty messy, obviously. There's a lot of Bondo on here and I'm gonna have to sand it. I'm obviously using a power sander because it would be insane to do by hand. Uh, like I said, I left this part blank or not Bondo yet because I still need to trim it and shape it to fit perfectly. Um, but it's already looking a lot better. So this is probably gonna take two or three coats to get this right. Um, and there's a few spots I still need to fill in to just make everything even, uh, but I think it's pretty close. Um, I did use the entire can of this stuff, so I'm most likely gonna have to get another box or another can of that. So I'm pretty happy with how it's looking right now. It does dry incredibly fast, um, but I'll wait a little bit because it's really humid today. So I'm gonna wait a day until it's not tacky anymore and I can uh, properly sand this. So I sanded the first layer of Bondo. It's starting to take, a, it's starting to take shape and it looks really good. So I still need to shape the curve here and I do need to apply more Bondo in the high spots. Um, I wanna get that pretty close and then I need to just build up a little bit more to cover the gaps. Um, and then I need to trim this a little bit so it'll all fit better. But it's starting to take shape. This is the second coat that I've put on now of Bondo. It's much smoother and a lot more leveled. I've also trimmed off the excess uh, fiberglass and Bondo that I didn't need. Um, I ended up just cutting this out as well. I'll probably clean this up a little bit more with my Dremel. Um, but you won't ever see that once the upholstered seat is on anyways. Um, but from the side, it's really hard to get the curved uh, look, but I think this is actually not bad because um, I think to have it tilted like this would be like having a, a backrest on a chair. It's never really straight, so it might not look as good. I think this will actually be more comfortable. Um, in the back, you can kind of see it's starting to take shape now. So this whole process is taking a lot longer than I thought. So I just have a little bit more. There's just tiny little holes and whatnot I need to fill. Uh, so I'll do one more quick coat just to get that uh, nice and leveled. And then uh, what I can do after that is paint it. So this entire process has taken almost three weeks to do, maybe actually a little bit more now. Um, I don't have, you know, I didn't dedicate every single day to it and it was really humid. So it took a while for the Bondo and the fiberglass to dry. Um, I probably could have put a little bit more hardener, but then it'd be impossible to work with. So it's super time consuming, but I think it will look better than my original um, seat and subframe I had. The subframe without a question is definitely better. The seat, I don't know. Um, I'm making this myself and it's the first time, so hard to say if it's gonna be better than the original one I had on here, but uh, this is definitely a learning lesson and it's, it's definitely custom. Um, it looks better though. It's got the bigger hump and I'll be able to fit the battery underneath it. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the touch-ups, like I said, with the last coat of Bondo. I'll sand it down smooth and in the next video, I'll go ahead and try to paint it. And then maybe what I'll do is I can line the uh, subframe with uh, the sheet metal I need to hide the wires and whatnot. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Um, and do check out the shop. It's live now. It's idkbuilds.com. I have all the stuff for sale that I have on hand. It's not a drop ship site, um, so I can ready to ship it right away to you. Um, like I said before, there's some generic bike parts for cafes and bobbers, as well as uh, Virago specific 
uh, builds. I have a couple t-shirts on there as well. Um, I have the holsters on there as well, or you can always check out the uh, link in the description for a discount and go directly to my site, ldwest.com, to grab a holster and all the other accessories. It really helped me out and help out the channel as well if you guys support it. Uh, so I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.